Hey guys, Drew here, back with another video, doing another growl with Drew as usual. And in this game, guys, the Growlers win. They win 5-2 over the Worcester Railers. What a game for Luke Cavan. Um, most likely I'll talk about him a little later. Um, but I'll mention the goals first. Todd Skirving getting two goals, which means he has 26 goals this season. He is, well, yeah. So he's seven goals technically on breaking the Growlers record for most goals in a single season. The Growlers, um, hopefully he can get it soon as the season is coming up to an end pretty quick. Um, so hopefully Skirvin can hit it soon. Um, he's actually three points shy of 50 points this season. It'd be pretty nice to see if Todd could get that as he would have his career high. He's already broke his career high in points, but, um, it'd be nice to see if Skirvin can get 50. And then Chris Martinet getting his second of the season. Good to see Chris getting a goal. Um, I loved it. It was a pretty nice goal by Martinet. They, um, after Martinet scored, they played, uh, I forget what that song was called. But, um, excuse me. Um, but Martinet was really excited to get that one, um, as he hasn't scored in a while. I remember his last goal, it was a tapping, but with this one, he was by the blue line, and he was able to get it. And then Keenan Southers getting two goals, and he has 14 goals this season. Um, Southers is underratedly my favorite player on the Growlers. He's a really useful player. I will not be surprised if he is in the AHL next year. Maybe NHL, I'm not too sure, though. Um, maybe he'll get a, a, a con another contract with the Marlies. Um, we'll have to say how he plays next year, if he's on the Growlers, or if he's on the Marlies, or if he's on another team. Maybe in Europe, maybe another AHL team. We'll have to wait and see. But good to see Southern getting those two goals. Nice to see Scurvy getting those two goals. And nice to see Martin Ed finally getting one. As with that win, the Growls are 38 16 1 and 0. They're still first in their division, except they're tied for second in the league. Cincinnati has 77 points, and so do the Growlers. Uh, on the chart currently, the Growls are second in the league, but. They're still tied for a second, so I'm um, not sure when Cincinnati's next game is. It might be Wednesday, it might be any time in this week before Friday, because that's when the Growls will play next against Reading here in the Mary Brown Center. Reading is currently second in their Growlers division, so it'll be a pretty uh, nice battle with those two teams. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens, So Luke Cavlin was in net for the Growlers. He had a wonderful game for the Growlers, making 35 saves. There was, there was two in the highlights that would, looked unbelievable for Kavlin. He's um, coming to back to play well. Although he's played his back-to-back -back games, I won't be surprised if Dryden McKay's in net Friday against Reading. But oh man, what a game for Luke Kavlin. Pretty much saved the game for the Rallies. I gotta say, if Dryden McKay was in net, he, he might have done pretty well. But with Kavlin doing really well in that net, showed that he could be a starting playoff holy. Um, so, um, do you guys think the Growlers could win any games this weekend against Reading? Um, it'll be a big battle. I'm, I'm saying that the Growlers will win Friday, lose Saturday, and they'll win Sunday. The Growlers seem to always win on Sundays, so, um, hopefully they can be able to get that uh, W on Sunday and Friday as well. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. Um, so, uh, I forgot to mention that that one Keenan Southern's goal was an empty netter. Todd Skirving, I believe, had a backhand and he hit the post for the hat trick, but he wasn't able to bury it, but, uh, Southers was able to pick up the trash. So that was an empty netter for Southers. Not too bad, though. Still put getting on the score sheet. Um, and Henrik Tickenden was a net for, um, Worcester. He seemed to have a shaky game for some reason. Growlers only had 27 shots on goal, but five of those found the back of the net. Doesn't sound like a Henrik Tickenden night. Um, this game was pretty much, the, this weekend was pretty much like a little series preview of what these Kelly Cup playoffs could look like in the first round. Um, in the, if the Growlers beat Worcester, I don't know if they will. Um, the Growlers will either play Maine or Reading. I don't think Adirondack is going to squeak it, and neither will Norfolk. But, um, it'd be nice to see if, uh, Maine could play the Growlers in the second round, because I think that would be a pretty good battle. If the Growlers play Worcester in the first round, it'll be the first time the Growlers ever play Worcester in a playoff series. It'd be pretty nice to see what could happen there. And if the Growlers play Maine in the second round, that could be the first time the Growlers play Maine in the in, in the playoffs. If Reading makes it, the Growlers played Reading last year, and they um came back from a 3-1 deficit 
um, from running, and they were able to come back. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be for the guys. I hope you enjoy. If you do, you can like this video, you can subscribe if you really liked it. You can follow me on TikTok, TikTok, that's drunk. I same, same for the Instagram account. You can follow me on Twitter, that's at Felton Drew. You can follow me on Facebook, that's Drew Guy. There's spaces that one, there's spaces to this one. It is Drew Hockey Guy. We are on the road to 200 subscribers. Hopefully, we can hit it by um, the time the like, Kelly Cup playoffs come along. Well, we can see. That's what we're for you guys, and I'll talk to you all again. It'll be Saturday, so it'll be a bit of a while, but we'll get the hang of it.